Hello everyone, and today I'm going to teach you how to do an in-home puja to your selective deity or deities. A puja is that an act of showing deep respect to a god, spirit, or other form of the divine through summonings, songs, and rituals. An essential part for a Hindu devotee is to connect with the divine. So, now that you know what a puja is, you will need to know what you need to perform this. You will need an in-home shrine with the murti, which is an image or statue of the divine, small brass or silver pots, large metal tray, ghee for lighting lamps, standing oil lamp, small lamps or candles, a sm deep trays, incense sticks, incense burner, the vetas, sacraments and offerings, hems and bells. Step one, don't eat more than an hour before you plan the worship. Gather the items that you need for the worship from the list. This can vary from puja to puja, depending on what deities are worshipped. When my group did it, we worshipped nine. Although you can use other forms of the de deities, such as statues, but they can run you very a lot of money. Pictures are just as good, and they only cost what it takes to print them. I did some research on the subject, and I found a group that did, used all in-home drawings of their deities. Other items needed are sacred milk or water, uncooked rice, fresh stemless blooms or flower petals, and red powder, sandalwood paste, or holy ash. Once you have all of these items, you want to put them in the base of your tray. Step three, bathe and dress before performing a puja to purify yourself. Step four, enter the shrine with your family or group. The holiest time for puja is right before the sun rises. Use ghee to light standing and smaller lamps. The standing one normally stays lit all day. Step eight, express your devotion to your selective deities or deity. The images provide direct communication between you and your deity. Step nine, place the murti in a deep dish and bathe him in sacred milk water. Step 10. Remove the murti from the milk of water. Step 11. Dry the murti and dress him in colorful clothing. Step 12. Recite scripture and prayer from the Vedas. Step 13. If you are using them, you can smear powder paste, powder, paste or ash on the murti. The puja leader can also smear this on the devotee's forehead as a blessing, which our leader did very often. It was so cool. Step 14, make offer other offerings such as fruit and flowers. Also dis distribute food and flowers to the devotees. Step 15, Play a song for the deities. They love music. This could be a well-known song or a family or group member can sing. Step 16, end with Artu. Wave the tray of lamps in, a, in front of the Murti in a clockwise motion to represent creation. Artu is commonly used with the ringing of bells. 
Thank you so much. And I hope that I don't only make my teacher proud with this speech, that I also make my guru proud with this speech because without him, I don't know where I'd be right now. So thank you both for being inspiration to me.